Hello everyone and welcome back to the Unreal Engine C++ training series. I, like always, am Pharaoh, and today we're going to be doing something pretty cool. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be bouncing bullets off of walls using our existing knowledge of Raycasts and how those work. Now if you haven't seen the uh, Raycast tutorial, then I suggest you go ahead and click at the top right of the screen and go ahead and watch that. But basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the, the different information from our hit results that we get and doing a little bit of math for it, uh, doing a little bit of math to find out how to bounce these bullets off of the walls. And it's going to look a little something like this. So I fire the raycast, it bounces off the wall and hits the wall right there. So we can bounce them off of the floor as well and off of different static meshes like that. So we can basically bounce bounce this off of anything as long as it's got collision set up. And the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be applying the law of reflection. So basically what this is, is it says here's our incident ray. This is going to be our initial ray cast, what comes from the gun. And we need the incident ray as a vector and we need the normal. So the normal is going to be uh, perpendicular to the surface that we're hitting. So this is just a 2D diagram, but this works just as well in 3D as it does in 2D. So we're going to be using the law of reflection to be able to bounce these bullets off of walls. Pretty simple stuff, pretty cool stuff. Now without further ado, let's get started. Like always, I'm going to start off in the tutorial character C++ header file or, or source file. Here we go. Couldn't find the word. And since we're going to be raycasting, I'm going to get rid of everything in on fire here because we are not going to be firing projectiles. We're going to be firing raycasts. And we're just going to basically get everything started. So F hit result. Hit result. So basically how this is going to work is we're going to have two raycasts. We're going to have one, which is the basic raycast that we're familiar with, that we've done uh, on this in this tutorial series a few times now. And then from the hit location, we're going to fire off another raycast. FP muzzle location. get component location f vector end location fp muzzle location get forward vector and we're going to make it 4000 units long And we're going to add the start location. All right, now we got that set up. What we're going to do is we're going to create a unit vector, which is basically just going to be the subtraction of end location minus start location. We're going to get, get it as a unit vector just because it makes everything easier to do uh, on the engine as far as the actual math and physics is concerned. So we're just going to use const f vector, and I'm going to call it direction unit vector. Give it a nice verbose name. And this is going to be a Kismet, laugh, a Kismet math library function. So I'm going to come in at the top and include Kismet, Kismet li math library. If you haven't looked through the Kismet Math Library or FMath Library for that matter, I highly suggest you do so because there's tons of great information in and functions that you can use uh, basically anywhere in, in those places. So you Kismet Math Library and we're going to get direction unit vector and this is just going to give us a great unit vector basically um, which we could do ourselves but we've already got a function here so why not so from start location to end location go 
good, good. Now we're going to use the F collision query pro, uh, params. F collision query params. Collision params. And just like last time, we're going to want to, we're going to want to ignore this actor being the player just because we don't we don't need anything being messed up as far as the raycast interacting with our collision for the player for example so we're going to get world line trace single by channel pass it in the hit result our start location our end location the collision channel that we're going to be interacting with E collision channel ECC visible visibility and the way that we can go ahead and actually make sure that um, we can control what we're actually hitting if you were to come down and say you only wanted to bounce off of walls you could set up a collision uh, a game trace channel and set that directly to just walls or you could go ahead and use world static, which is basically anything that's still in. I believe it also implies that it is not interacting with the physics engine at all. So walls, floors, ceilings, all that kind of stuff would be in that category. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to go with visibility. And then last but not least, our collision parameters. And then we're going to want to be able to see our raycast. So we're going to use the UKismet system library to draw a debug line. And we're going to get world. We're going to get our start location. And we're going to want to end the debug line at the hit result. Dot location we're going to make our the color of the line I don't know let's make it red makes it easy to see and it's gonna stay on screen for five seconds I guess and that's our first raycast done all that was easy it's nothing it's nothing new just a nice little refresher and here is where things get interesting. The second raycast. Almost all of this code we can probably copy and paste, but I'm not going to just because there are going to be significant enough changes that we're going to want to write it out. So we're going to create a new F hit result. And I'm going to call it new hit result just to be 100% clear what we're actually doing and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say start location I'm going I'm gonna just override that variable so start location is going to be the hit result location so the location of the first hit result and then what we're going to do now to get the end location so we're gonna need that right End location that's going to be equal to this is where the math comes in so like last time we're gonna want it to be at a 4,000 units long but what we want it to do is we want this to be the reflective uh, vector right so what we're going to do is we're going to take a function from the fmath library, like, which I brought up briefly momentarily, or which I brought up briefly previously. So fmath, and this function has, thank, thankfully, it has a very 
easy to remember name and it's just going to be get reflection vector pretty aptly named and we're going to get the reflection vector and we're going to pass in two vectors we need the we need the direction and we need the surface normal luckily for us that is just going to be the direction unit vector and the normal is going to be hit the first hit result dot normal see this is all super easy but because of the way that we're setting this up it's going to it's going to be something uh, quite interesting oh and we can't forget to add the start location or else it's going to be way off in the middle of nowhere and what did I do all right cool and then we're going to get some new collision parameters. I'm just going to copy these guys because these are easy. And I'm going to call it new collision params because I don't want this to be interfering with what we already have. And in this case, we don't want to ignore the character necessarily because maybe, well, maybe you do. Um, but for this situation, um, I'm going to ignore only the object that it's coming from because once again if if you have a separate collision on the wall for example and you bounce it off the wall I don't want the second reflection or the the reflection to be interfered with the collision provided by the wall itself so I'm um, so ignored actor is gonna be hit result dot get actor so it's going to ignore the actor that it's basically coming from that's all set up. Maybe if you, for example, if you're if you're firing off bullets and you don't want the player to be damaged by the by the ricochet, then you'd want to add the player as an as an ignored actor. But I'm not going to do that for this case because I, that's not what I'm doing. And then last but not least, we're going to get world just like last time line trace by single line, line trace single by channel new hit result start location end location ECC visibility and our new collision params And then we're just going to copy over this code, make it easy for us. But I'm going to change the color of this one to green so we can easily identify which is the initial and which is the reflected. And that should actually be it. So if I go ahead and compile and run this code, hopefully what we should see is our, our gun being shot at a wall or one of these cubes or the floor or whatever you like and have a green reflective vector in the other direction what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna come into the first person blueprint because just like last time I do have the start location coming from the muzzle locations forward vector and the muzzle location is rotated in a weird angle so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick so grab that. Hopefully that's the right direction. I never really know. I can never really remember. All right, so we got we got our initial vector. We're not, however, seeing our reflected. So what's up with that? Let's go ahead and recompile that just to make sure that that's all set up. So we've got our new hit result start location equals hit result dot location we've got a reflection vector <laughs> so new hit result start location end location 
ah, we didn't change the end re the hit result dot location. We need to make that the new hit result dot location. All right, so recompile. So basically what I was doing was I was creating a vector from one point to that same point. So it wasn't actually going anywhere. And it looked like it was just in the debug line. So hopefully this line of code is still correct and, we're, and we'll be able to uh, go ahead and uh, it still worked basically. It just, the debug line was drawn improperly. So if I go ahead and play, boom, yep, that, that fixed it for us. We've got a nice uh, spot right there where that's our hit normal, or that's our hit location. And it's bouncing off of the normal, just like we would expect uh, a ray of light would to off of a mirror or something like that. And boom, we've got a nice little game mechanic that you can go ahead and set up and it works in first person shooters, it works in third person shooters, it works in puzzle games, whatever you like. And that's gonna be it for us today. If you liked the video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below or give me a like on the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about this, then also let me know in the comment section. And without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye and get out of here.